But you were a pioneer here in this region of San Gimignano um, in 65. In 1966, it became officially recognized as a sub-region. What changes have you seen in that period? No, no, I, well, I was very much looking under the earth. I was not going around. I began to make wine because I had to. Either, when the children went away, either you had to sell or you had to work. So I, I know wine since I was born, because I was born in Valpolicella. I am part of a Valpolicella. You know Valpolicella around Verona? So I know how to make wine. It's just how to make soup. It's something of the family. You know, you have a small kitchen at home and you have the big kitchen downstairs. So I began to make wine in the most simple, natural way. And you know, uh, to be uh, organic, it's, it's a question of culture. It's not a question of fashion. Remember that culture stays and fashion goes. And now everybody has new virginities about culture, about, about being organic. Everything now has to be organic. But that is a wave. It's not, it's not the truth of humans. Tru humans have to come back to the earth. That's why of the foundation. That's why you can be real organic when you speak to the soil, when you speak to the plants. Wine is made speaking to the vines, not going in the market to see what is the, the wine in fashion, the way you should make the wine in order to sell it on the market. It's, it's the earth that has to teach you what to drink, not the big marketing uh, riches and movements and politics. Are you optimistic, though, for the future of wine and, and for humanity? Uh, of course, yes. Yes, there is an incredible future. And uh, what I'm very sad, it's maybe I, I will, I can see very little, but I see an incredible, incredible, we are living one of the greatest revolutions that ever existed. We, we are really, we are really in the big need of being together. We are in a very small planet, you know. Today you can reach any place in a second. That's why we have to, to be together. This will be, if people understand the sense of my foundation, of our foundation here, it will become a McDonald's because everybody will need that. Every piece of soil will be the place where to speak with the soil, with the earth, with the animals. Animals, they are so forgotten, they are so badly treated. We never, we never know how to forget ourselves. This is what we need. We have to shut up sometimes. We, are, we grow so full of our own self that we are unable to understand. This is very bad, I think. That is what I feel. So how old is this soil that we're on here? This is 300 million years old. That is only 4,000, so you know, compared to what, it's nothing. So three, that was the age. What, what was happening on planet Earth at the time? Was it dinosaurs or? Uh, the, this, this was Triassic. The there was Quaternary, the Quaternary period, when the sea came all the way down here, all the hills. You just had the little hills coming up, but the sea was covering everything. And the waters were very shallow, so you had so beautiful little animals. And uh, we, they left an incredible richness of marine sediments. And that's why you can have white wine in the place where usually you have red wines, because Tuscany is the mother of red wines, not of white wines. But that's why also the Vernaccia is a very rich wine, very heavy wine. It's the red of the white wines, really. So that's due to the soil. You're saying the Vernaccia grape in San Gimignano has this soil that's full of marine fossils that gives a very rich bodied wine. Yes, that is very calcareous. That's why you can have a white wine. But the mother is white, but the college is for the reds. So you have heavy wines. Heavy wines that should take time to get good, you know. 